If only I knew these things when I first started selling. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Jasmine. For those who are new, I am a full-time nurse working in Ontario, Canada, but I also like to resell gently used clothing and other items on eBay as well as the US and Canadian Poshmark app. So for today's video, I thought I would do a basic tutorial on how to sell on the Poshmark app and also how to use the features that it has such as um, offers to likers and stuff like that to help boost with your sales. If you like resale content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So for the rest of the video, I'll probably just show a screenshot of me using the app on my phone and how I can use certain features that it offers to help boost your sales. The main thing to do to help boost with your sales is to share your closet multiple times a day during different times, such as morning and night. That way you reach a variety of different people, such as people who only go on the app in the morning or browsing or people who browse late at night like while they're going to bed. How you do that is you go to your closet and under each listing you click on this icon here once you do that you just share it to your followers what that does is it refreshes your listing so that it goes to the top of the search engine for example if i'm looking for these puma black shoes here and i click on shop so they're called puma basket heart shoes so let's say if i'm searching for these I don't really see my listing in the top view, but I can see it down here. So when I share it to my followers and I go back to the shop and I click search. There, then it refreshes it and it goes to the top of the search engine. You can also share your listings during posh parties. In order to find out what kind of posh party is going on, you click the shop button at the bottom, and that leads you to this page. If you scroll to the very bottom, you see a category called parties. If you click all parties, these are the parties that will be going on. So today at three o'clock, there's a best in shoes posh party. If I click that and you click View party guidelines. It shows you what brands are allowed and what categories. So all kinds of shoes are allowed for this posh party and all brands are allowed. If you go under a different category such as designer which will happen tomorrow at 12 o'clock and you click the guidelines it shows you the limited number of brands that are allowed to be shared to the party. What that means is that when you go to a previous party, let's say the luxury one, which was earlier this morning, people can browse every brand that is allowed to be shared to the party. So it just gives a more refined, um, like pay, a more refined page that people can look at just to see all of those brands. I personally don't shop browsing each party. So it's not that important that you share only on the posh parties, which happens at noon, three o'clock, seven o'clock, and uh, 10 o'clock. But um, if I really wanted to search for something, I would just use the normal search engine. So what I've been doing recently to help boost my sales is to send an offers to likers or sending an offer to somebody's bundle every time that I receive that notification. So for example, I would go under the news and I'm gonna work with this notification here. So they liked my list and I'm gonna click that and I'm going to click offer or price drop, offers to likers, and I'm going to give a discount of 10% off with 9.99 uh, shipping. So you have to apply a, a discounted shipping whenever you're doing this. And I'm gonna click submit. Another method to sending an offer to someone is to list whatever they liked and add it to somebody's bundle. So for example, I'm going to work with this listing here. 
So I'm going to click this user. And at the top here, I'm going to click this icon there. And then I'm going to click these dots in the corner and switch to cell view. So when I scroll to the bottom, I can see all of the items that they have liked from my closet. And I'm going to click this icon here, which adds it to their bundle. And then I can also submit an offer. And this offer can be whatever you want. So it doesn't have to be 10% off and you don't have to apply a shipping offer. So if you find that whenever you're doing an offers to likers and the shipping discount is eating at your um, your earnings, then you can add these items to somebody's bundle instead. So I'm going to offer $40 and no discounted shipping and submit. One thing to note when you're trying to add something to somebody's bundle once they liked an item is, let's see, I'm going to work with this listing here. If I click this username and try to do the same thing that I did the first time, I can see that they like this item here. But I have various sizes of this particular skirt, um, so I don't know what size they're looking for. So if I try to add this to their bundle, it shows select size. So I can't really send an offer because I don't know what size they're looking for. So that might be why sometimes if you look through people's closets, you see multiple listings of the same item, but they're all in different sizes instead of adding it all into one listing. So that way that they can add um, the particular item to somebody's bundle and they know exactly what size they're looking for. If you want to add multiple items to somebody's bundle, but they didn't like the item, you can go under the listing and you click this icon here, and then you can search for the particular username by searching people. So let's say I'm going to search for this user. I'm going to click the user and then it's going to add that item to their bundle. So they don't have any other likes, but if I want to add another item, I click that icon again and again search for that same user. Click search and then I can find it here. And that way I've added two of these items to that particular person's bundle. And then you can do the same thing that I showed you before and then apply an offer. A helpful tool that you can do once you have a sale that didn't go through. So let's say the buyer bought it by accident or they changed their mind and they wanted you to cancel the item. If you go under your sales and you go to the item that was canceled, which was this one, if you click canceled and you go under problems or order inquiry, you can relist the item by clicking mark listing for sale. Once you do that, it can post that item back up for sale, but just keep note that the price that it will be listed for is your sale price. So let's say if it was sold for the lowest that you were willing to go, it would be good to um, change the price back to what it was originally listed for so that you can leave room for um, offers. Another method that you can do to help relist your items quickly that have sold before is the copy method, which is a recent feature that Poshmark added. So let's say I wanted to relist these joggers. I click the listing and click edit. It says, oops, you can't edit. You have to make a copy. So you click copy listing and then that automatically lists all the pictures that you had in that listing and the description, etc. So it makes it really fast to just relist that item. The only thing that you'd have to edit is maybe the listing price because it defaults to the price that you sold them for. So if you wanted room to send offers and stuff, then you just increase the price a bit and then you can post it like a regular listing. Another thing you can do that will help with your sales or could help with your sales is participating in closet clear out. Whenever you see this notification at the top, it might look slightly different, but um, you'll know that it's closet clear out day. So if you click that, it'll say that whenever you participate in closet clear out by dropping your item by at least 10%, 
then whoever has liked that item will get a notification that you had dropped the price and they will also receive discounted shipping courtesy of Poshmark. So for example, if I go to this item here and I click edit, I have to lower my price of $42 by 10%. So you can just click the price drop, suggested price, which would be 10%, apply suggested price. And then if I click next and then list it, then whoever has liked the item will receive that notification. I personally don't really participate in closet clear out that often, just because if I'm lowering the price, they only get the notification that they'll get discounted shipping in the next six hours that you had lowered the price. Sometimes if nobody is accepting that offer, um, I forget to raise that price back up and sometimes it gives the impression that, pe that I am willing to go lower than I really am. So I really prefer to do um, offers to likers rather than closet clear out, even though I have to pay the shipping discount out of pocket. So that concludes today's video. I hope you learned something new, especially if you're new to selling on Poshmark and hopefully using some of the tips that I showed you in the video, it'll help you with your sales. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>